So I've had a fault creep up on my um, year 2000 Audi TT Mark 1 um, with the ABS there seems to be a, an issue um, it's intermittent it, so the, the, the lights are of their own now however at points they turn on uh, sometimes it's just the ABS light on its own rather than the traction uh, traction control light which is that one there um, and otherwise they're both just on throughout um, what I'm thinking is, is a, it's a dodgy ABS sensor so I'm gonna um, diagnose or run a bit of a diagnostic on them I've plugged the machine in but I can't obviously find the fault using a normal code reader um, it needs a VADCOM which I don't have so I'm gonna try and see what I can do um, just by trying to do it the old school way so literally all I've done I've taken the wheel off obviously jacked it up I've got a wheel chuck on the back for safety and things um, coming behind the discs here that looks to be my uh, ABS sensor um, and this is the motor where it spins so I can show you on the other side so there's these little metal bits in it that are cut out on the sensor itself right at the front if I can show you there you go if you can see from there that's where they're they don't actually meet but it's just a, set, uh, a reading that is given back to the um, to the sensor from here. Uh, depending on how fast the car spins, um, it'll tell it. You know, this is the wheel. Uh, this is the speed of the wheel, and then that obviously gives the reading back. Um, what happens is dirt gets in there on the front. So what I'm going to do is just try and clean it up. You can see there's. It looks like a bit of grease or something. I'm not sure where it is. A lot of the time, you can get iron filing stuck on there. So it could be that. I'm gonna try and just clean it up and see if that makes a difference. So just looking at it now, I've been driving the car now for a couple of days um, and all I did was literally just clean off the ABS sensor on both the, fr both the front wheels uh, using some sandpaper just to kind of get in there and some brushes and I used some wire brushes around there to clean, clean the kind of area to get rid of dirt because uh, there was a lot of dirt around there um, as I mentioned before obviously with my sensor um, the, the, with the fault it was intermittent it would come on and off so that's the only reason why I really went down the route of cleaning it if it was a permanent kind of a, the ABS light was permanently on then I probably would have um, changed the sensor because that would have told me it's an actual fault with the sensor however in my situation because the fault was intermittent I could see that obviously uh, it was just something that was blocking the signal or there was like a loose wire or something along them lines um, so yeah on this occasion for me this has worked out might not work for everybody um, depends on your situation um, but yeah having cleaned it up it's um, sorted it all out for me yeah there we go thanks for watching